Hello and welcome to a very exciting video. Today I have a very fun announcement for us. As of this month, we have two major milestones. We have hit 40,000 subscribers on the Man Made Me channel and the channel is five years old. And that is incredible. And I wanna celebrate it by talking about you guys, talking about some reflections on the channel and doing some fun stuff. Before we go too far though, we gotta drink some mead. So uh, this, this is the 10K Boche. This is one of the bottles of mead that I made on a live stream at my 10,000 subscriber mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. This was an orange blossom Boche aged on oak. It's over two years old now. Mmm. Got a caramel note. This thing is good. Okay. We're not necessarily here for this. We're here for you. I first want to say a huge, huge thank you to everyone who has supported the channel throughout the years. And that is, you know, you've, you've supported me in a plethora of ways by liking videos, by commenting on things, by supporting me on Patreon and YouTube membership. And I'll talk about that here in a second, but thank you for supporting the channel for five years. This is not a I'm quitting video. I know some of you thought that uh, had that thought in your mind. It's not. So thank you to my people who've liked and commented on things. Shout out to you. But I want to give an even bigger thank you to the patrons and the YouTube members. They have gone above and beyond to make sure this channel keeps going by supporting me financially. So thank you to those people who have over the years, whether you're active or not active, supported me. I really appreciate you. You guys are what make this channel continue to run. Everyone here knows meat is expensive to make. And then you add on top of it the expense of equipment and for me recipe testing and all of this stuff to hopefully bring good content to you. It costs a lot of money and you guys help me keep that going. So thank you. Thank you to my patrons and my YouTube members. Y'all rock. Now I could go a little bit further with that, but I'll tell you this, mead content, YouTube, a lot of people look at YouTube and go, well, he makes money from his videos, so he should be fine. <laughs> About 95% of the time I am in the hole for my uh, money into an experiment, into a video. And that's a little bit tough. So those patrons, those YouTube members, y'all help me out big time. Thank you. In the five years that this channel has run, we have made hundreds of videos, hundreds of recipes. We've also amassed now over 40,000 subscribers, which is beyond me. If you look at this guy right here and the chaos that he was, I, I remember vividly looking at 100 subscribers and going, oh my gosh, this is outlandish. <laughs> Why are people following me? Why are people wanting to watch my content? And now here we are. It's, it's crazy. It's still surreal to me. I don't know if it's really set in how many of how many subscribers that is, but thank you. I did amass a couple stats just for fun. In the five years I've had this channel and I've been mead making, I have um, used 1,113 pounds of honey in the primary. I say this because I did not include or calculate my back sweetening honeys, so I bet I've amassed over 1,200 pounds of honey, which the original number is 504 kilograms for those of you who are not in the America right now. Um, and I've made 585 gallons of mead or 2,214 2, liters. That's a lot of mead in five years. It's been a lot of fun. So I did reach out to a lot of you guys and say, hey, what are some things you've enjoyed about the channel so far? And then what are you looking forward to? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut over to this real fast. Here are the responses from some people. So here we go.
So in a moment, I'm gonna share some um, kind of more in-depth things about five years on YouTube. There's a lot to celebrate, but I also wanna be really honest with you about what YouTube has um, meant to me, but how it's kind of affected me <laughs> over the years. But first, let's celebrate something fun. I have, um, in my reaching out to you guys, I said, what are some memorable moments? And a bunch of people commented things. And I have some personal favorite, favorite memorable moments from the five years of this channel's run. So here's a, a little bit of a long video, but my favorite moments. Hi guys, and welcome to my first Mead video. So this is gonna be uh, today about the things I have going on right now. And I'm not gonna go into detail about what's in all of them, uh, specifically, you know, with yeast and everything. I'll go into that um, when I start to re-rack them, which is very soon for some of these. Welcome to the Mead Room. This is uh, the second version of Mead Room. Right now, 380 unwrapped double bubble chew gum. So, I would love to know what you think. Oh, what boy. is it? What does it smell like? What you got? What's your what's your vibe? I was smelling bubble gum from here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, the longer it opens up and aerates, the more of those rubbery, for lack of a better, yeah. like chalky rubbery things come out in the mid palate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's talk about BC. Should this be a mead? Should this be a mead? Should this bubble no. gum? This shouldn't be a mead. Okay. No. Double bubble gets a double thumbs up from me. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Uh, Jake? I'm saying in a different quantity, yes. No. <laughs> Listen, I don't know about you, but I am just sick and tired of yeast being happy and healthy. That's so 2020. All right. So we should probably push them to 91 for the duration of their fermentation. Because, right, these guys don't deserve to be happy. Here we go. Yeah. All what, right. What you got? What you got? Um, well. That place smells tomatoey, earthy. Here we go. Oh my God. That's spicy. Welcome to the 2021 Mead Creator Awards. The most Ridiculous mead recipe was also another one of these categories, and I thought this one was fun. Here are the nominations. And the winner for the most ridiculous mead recipe is Doing the Most, We Made a Cheese Mead. Welcome to Squid Game. I brought you all here to see who the best mead maker is. Let's get started. All right, guys. I. I can't do that. I can't do it. It's too much. <laughs> um, <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> so that means that the first place, the winner of the hundred dollars for the Squid Game 2022 challenges, player number one. Hello, apples. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Here's boy. a list of fruit. They're <laughs> in it. <laughs> that is rancid. <laughs> Did you not sweeten this? <laughs> <laughs> this is a great time to look away. So people can see my face whenever I grimace. Give us a big three, two, one. Ew. <laughs> oh, man. That image was not good. <laughs> two, one. I'm not a pro at this. Woo! <gasps> How do you feel? Mostly, I wish I didn't have uh, have the hiccups. Oh. Woo. Oh. Where 
on like PBS. I, our phone lines are open. Now this next part is not for the faint of heart. Tragedy struck. When I say tragedy, I don't mean just a light, momentary affliction. As I was moving the meat over into a new container, weeks later, to rack it, this happened. The one chip challenge. Do you want to? <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, All man. right. I feel like I'm going to take this jacket off here in a minute. Just get. You tearing up? You're turning red, man. I'm turning red, man. <laughs> we are crying, like trying to hold it together. <laughs> it was not fun. And that was only a jalapeno. Trumpet. Why does this feel like a Saturday night? Uh, Are we close? Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't know if I can do a shot of boots. The last time I touched this thing, I threw it. Oh, shoot! Ooh, it's much worse without water. Beautiful, scenic, and also cloudy. Okarchi, Oklahoma, to promote Mead Stampede. I'm giving you some dates on the screen right now of the entry time <laughs> of our. I gotta get real picky here. It's it's got this like I, I still have yet to. This is meat. The meat has made it all the way through, and I don't know what it is. The victor of the mead tournament of 2018 is the number two. And I don't know what it is. And they're ready to go. So we're gonna pitch them right in. Oh! Today, we're, we're gonna, gonna make a strawberry bracket. Let's get started. Dude, I have been so excited for- Are you minute. kidding me? <laughs> you did this not. Again? Welcome to the Man Made Me Tournament of 2021. I'm Charles Hydromel. And I'm Frank Wheatbuck. Today, we have a very exciting event for everyone. We're here to watch 15 meads battle to become the victor of this wonderful mead tournament. That's right, Charles. We have 15 meads in play, and it's going to be a fierce battle. All of these meads today are submitted from the Man Made Mead community. Those are just a few of the amazing memories I've made on this channel and just silly moments and stuff. And you guys have been there since the beginning. Some of you have. And uh, I appreciate you guys walking along with me to experience those things. Now, I do want to kind of change gears a little bit and talk about some things. YouTube uh, is, is a lot of fun, but it also is pretty uh, tiring sometimes, challenging. The community itself can be really fun and also really challenging. And um, I think on that note, I used to have this grand goal to unify the mead community together to where we all just kind of run forth and make things work, not have a lot of battles and stuff. But I, I think I've realized that's not gonna happen. The mead community in a lot of ways is a very welcoming group. And then in a lot of ways, it's also very toxic and, and people brew in the ways they want. They're very opinionated. People don't listen to each other. It's a, it's, it's a hard world to teach in. It's a hard world to be in. And I've kind of given up on trying to bring us together. I'm gonna teach the way I want. My goal is to bring more people into the mead community. But then also, my goal is to take those people who have learned just stupid things from other sources on the internet and bring them towards a better product so they'll make more mead. Unfortunately, there are a lot of beginners who have made one mead based off a bad recipe and then they never made a mead again. And that's unfortunately due to these very large videos on YouTube of somebody just throwing things in and saying, good luck. It's not exactly great um, quality of videos for one or mead and so they quit. 
I want to bring those people back in and say, hey, let's let's uh, kind of turn our eyes a little bit to try and fix what went wrong and let's make some better mead. My little final thing, um, rather than get ranty, because I can, I got some short statements for you. And I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna leave them at this. You can talk in the comments if you want. Low effort content equals low effort mead making, which leads to poor results from your brew. Good mead requires effort. It requires more than just the bare minimum. This was a fun one. This is gonna upset some people, but it's true. If you've ever only had a significant other or close family member taste your mead, it's probably not as good as you think. Real opinions from people who don't love you as much are way more valuable than your moms, brothers, who, whoever else that doesn't want to hurt your feelings. YouTube comments are the best and the worst part of this job. The ones who comment with constructive criticism um, are much more beneficial, much more enjoyable than the people who just rant and post trollish comments. I try to ignore the trolls, but it's kind of like saying, don't think about the pink elephant. Here we are thinking about the pink elephant. Thank you so much for supporting me. Five years is a long time. And I know I have people who've seen me from the beginning. I know I have people who just found me yesterday. And whether you are on either camp, um, I hope you will consider continuing to watch the Man Made Me channel. Go watch some previous videos I put literally thousands of hours and thousands of dollars into these videos at this point. And they're for you to take and glean new information. And I hope that they will do that for you. So thank you. Here's to 40,000 in five years on YouTube. Let's see what happens for the rest of this year. Let's see what happens as we get closer to 50,000 and I'll see you then. Cheers.